Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time we took a new uh, control point right next to the Atlas. Now I have returned to the Dead Letter Office, both because of, uh, well, not because of this, although I have immediately noticed this, because I wanted to test something. See if I had this qu pesky mission for a while to just kill enemies in the Executive Center. Exe executive uh, area, but. Central Executive doesn't let you shoot, and there don't seem to be any enemies left in this dead letter office. So I wanted to test something. Fuck. Let me guess, it didn't count. Okay, fine, fine. I guess they're good for, uh... Let's knock all this shit over in my clumsiness. I guess they're alright for that achievement, but not for, uh... You know. Not for the mission. Lore! Fake planes. Dead letters. Dear New York Tribune, airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like the monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't like. Don't contact me. Yeah, I don't think that one's, uh, that one's true. I think that's a parody of, uh, Flat Earthers. Who believe that the reason nobody's taking a picture of the edge of the world is because the edge of the world is where the monsters live. And they just kill anyone who goes there. Very convenient excuse of Zero, uh... Even attempt to prove it. Hello, monsters! Oh, hey. How the fuck did I miss something just lying out in the open? Dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Well, this game did come out in 2019, so yeah, the White House could use him. But, um... I'm going to assume that James Bartholomew here is on the level. Just because it's more entertaining that way. Oh, they got quiet all of a sudden. Weird. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the ceiling. It's twisting. Why is it twisting? Well, not ing, but it's twisted. I don't want to go to central. Hello? I do know they didn't give me these uh, options anywhere close to uh, when I was here. Hey! Perfect! No, I can't put that one on. Okay. Oh, fuck. I borrow you for one last time. Oh, all of them have shields. Okay. Ah, I said one last time and I was trying to grab the ground. What the fuck just happened? I held down the button and it made the mother of all the launch squeals. And then nothing was floating next to me. Ew. 
Eat wall, my dude. Okay. I hope it's not the house putting those back, or else it suggests it's more closely related to the hiss than uh, I thought. Maybe we've just never seen the board do this before. I mean, remember, the hiss is a term Jesse made up. How many different entities are we dealing with here? There's the board, the hiss, he Hedron, uh, Polaris, yes. No. No. curious what it would look like if I did that intentionally. Since I'm never exactly looking at the desks when I actually managed to grab one of those things. Weird, you could only grab a piece of it instead of just lifting up the whole damn desk. So all these bags are just full of nonsense like the stuff we've been finding. Like that guy who made a god machine in his garage, I don't think that was legit, but uh... I don't know, maybe he's the guy, this, the guy has a magic wallet that's making all the presidents who appear in his wallet appear to him. Hello? I'm not really gonna have to track these assholes down. Fuck! I've just remembered another one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Kill enemies in the executive sector with headshots. I do want to do that eventually. Check something. No, no, I have been everywhere in executive shit. All right, I'll uh, head back to dead letters, I guess. See here, shield plus uh, plus ten percent the shield strength, plus five percent a shield sees duration. So far, that's been fine. So let's get thirty percent melee damage. Yeah. Hey, an additional personal mod slot. Hey, I like that. Mm -mm -mm, tasty. I might as well get some of these anyway. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, sure. Get these bonuses for these two. Seize an additional enemy! Although I'd have to have them both at low health at the same time. And seize large enemies and their health is low. Okay, okay, like that guy I couldn't seize earlier. Oh, I can just get that. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot that was in there. What? What? Why does it get less expensive at the end? Oh, because it's actually worth less. Interesting. Oh, right. What do I want to spend my point to reduce on? Uh... uh, uh. Uh, there is shield rush. Use evade to rush at enemies. Okay, so it is it is just physically rushing at them. Oh, okay. Hold and launch up to three objects. Impressive. Hmm. Ah, I can't resist. That's really funny to me. Uh, 
And let's spend the last three points on... I have been dying more recently. So the enemies get tougher and tougher. So yeah, let's keep in upgrading health. Oop. Yeah, that is what I wanted to do there. Good! Hmm. I think I shall go for... Oh, interesting! They use different items, so it doesn't actually overlap. I mean, I'll need the source, but, you know. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's upgrade a weapon. Alright, I'll put Grith on for a while. And give it a second upgrade. What's this one? Yeah, lots of damage while low on health. Oh boy. Um... Made a straight damage boost. And I'll put my, uh, my health one back on. Nice. Absolute, as opposed to uncommon. Seems about the same to me, but okay. Wait. Okay. Back to where I came from. Uh, I was in the Atlas Chamber. Yes, that's right. I certainly hope so, or I'll never finish that damn quest. Or the other one. I am glad I found those bits of lore. And five dudes. That was nice. I'm sure they're very relieved to no longer be uh, infested by the hiss. Ooh. Leaned on my cable. I should not have done that. I think that thing right there is the Atlas, by the way. I could see why they'd assume this is a model of the oldest house. What are those cables made? We said you guys could come back. Interesting. Headshots uh, went right through them. You're dead too. Ah, there you are. It's probably not how that piece of equipment is meant to be used, but say Livy. Upstairs, since I remember, uh, a Arish saying, uh, hey, up here, Faden. Ah, there he is. He really should have been standing and waving. How do I get in there? Probably on that side. Oh, I see. It's a barricade. Too heavy for me to even move with launch, because I don't have that ability yet. Those are fucking grenades! For science! No, it's just like throwing a, a metal baseball, I guess, since I hadn't, you know, pulled the kit pin or anything. I mean, that's realistic. Grenades aren't dangerous until you pull the thing out, but, uh... I kind of didn't expect a video game to care. <laughs> oh, oh. Why is the Atlas Chamber full of this? And also, what the fuck is Arish doing here, anyway? I was curious about that, I have to admit. Ooh. There's sometimes lore in these. Oh, well, I'll take that, too. Oops. Or prime. Projectiles fired plus five. What does that even look like? Here's a nice wall. Right, I am really close to it. It's kind of hard to 
figure out. All right. What? You're glad to see you're still you. Ditto. What's up, my man? Hey, thanks for bringing down that... Whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prison to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. Well, Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. I got the good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Well, bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water. Huh. And the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. That's a terrible hey, idea. At least we got you, the fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. I want you to consider exactly what it means when a member of the Federal Bureau of Control whose jobs it is to, uh, you know, study supernatural phenomenon, refers to something using the word monster. They've each taken a few hits. We need to get them to a surgical station ASAP, but I don't think they're stable enough to move. Oh yeah? Well, they're gonna have to be, because we are moving out and I am not leaving them behind. Now do what you need to do. I can respect that. Marshall Trench's behavior. To El Salvador from H. Marshall. Subject, potential problem. Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? They've both been acting odd lately. Trench concerns you the most. His sudden hostility towards Darling's project is very unlike him. He was the one to approve all this head-drawn research in the first place. But after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason not to equip Bureau staff with an additional protective device. Especially not if it's as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them that strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person soon, before the next Bureau Heads meeting. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, it sounds like, uh... That sounds like, uh... Like, uh... Like... Sorry, I just got distracted by something on the table. Uh, it sounds like Trench was, uh, working with the Hiss, and he was pissed that there was this shield in the way, but... We know he wasn't working with the Hiss, because he blew his fucking brains out so that someone else, me, could be the, uh, the director. You know, you don't do that if you're not totally dedicated. Also, this is what I noticed. Black Pyramid brand cigarettes. Hey, remember the deal. If you kill a Hiss, I buy a shot. Bottom shelf only. It's not a bad deal. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Well. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, was to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What a success. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No. Nothing. Do you think we should tell them about the mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in the quarry, just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, 
Did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. <laughs> I really like that he wasn't that mad. Like, ah. Like he was already starting to jot down notes about a mermaid. Why does my head feel like this? Is it the hiss or a concussion? You're wearing the thing, so it's uh, it's a concussion. Be strong. If you let yourself fall apart from fear, they will get you. That is a garen fucking T. So you've got a. To... <sighs> I've seen psychosis, but what the hell is a worm through time? I'm guessing it's about the uh, the chant. Well, the timer has gone, so uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Control when we face off against this hiss monster and find out what that's all about. Later.